Namaste. You might have seen that video I posted a few hours ago about the samadhi I had this morning. I received a very special gift of samadhi on my special day. It was a samadhi so profound I've never had before. It was energetic, but very present. I didn't experience any heaviness and gasping. I was breathing normally. Yeah. I could recall and the memory and the experience remain clear and vivid. And I received quite a few additional uh, brand new instructions, information, a realization. Yeah. And it's probably the longest yeah, samadhi I had. All right, last night I was just spewing words because I wanted to share with you the experience as close as to the resurfacing from samadhi. Um, but for today, let me just zero in on the important you know, learnings. Yeah. And these are new realizations, learnings, information yeah, I received and gained from that experience. All right. Number one, it's given that the breath is the director of the mind. Once we gain control and mastery of the breath, yeah, the mind rides the wave of the breath. And this leads to deeper state of meditation. But the vibration supersedes the breath. It's higher than the breath. And the vibration comes from the voice, the sound. And the vibration or sound or the voice and the sound emit. And in that samadhi, I actually met a young diva, a boy, yeah, a young diva, yeah, a divine personality. And aside from the soham, you know, which um, we uh, been learning, you know, we have learned this one already, and it's part of my personal practice, and it has uh, led me to a few energetic uh, absorptions. Yeah. There's another mantra that was um, given to me. Yeah. And the mantra is Sandiram. Yeah. S-A-N-D-I-R-A-M. Yeah. And in the way this mantra is um, chanted is similar to the Soham. Sandiram Sandiram Soham is Soham yeah. And then the Sandiram is Sandiram But in that Samadhi yeah, It's actually the Diva yeah, The young divine personality chanting the Ram I was chanting the Sandi, and he would chant the Ram, you know, while I still you know, vibrate the, the Sandi, Ram. Yeah, so it's like two of us chanting yeah, the mantra. And that made the experience even more powerful. Really, I was chanting it in the Samadhi. Yeah, and he was joining me as I chant the Sandhi. Right. And since the experience was so intense and powerful, yeah, I somehow felt yeah, that my breath was catching up. And then this is beautiful because yeah, he approached me. Yeah. He held my hands and he, he, he specifically told me, you are not pressing your mudra as firmly as you can, as firmly as it is required for you to remain attached to your body. So the mudra, the gyan mudra, is another important takeaway or new learnings I gain from this. Well, we normally do the mudra like this, but the young diva specifically told me, press your index and the thumb finger so firmly while you experience that, vib that vibration so you won't lose it. Because the moment you lose it, you will resurface because you will gasp. Yeah. So this, the mudra, keeps us connected to the mortal body. So we can experience the realm beyond 
the common senses while remain attached to our autonomic functions. Mudra. That's another takeaway. Right. And the next is that, yeah, well, there's a story behind, you know, surrounding this experience. You may just want to have a look at that talk. Yeah. Mudras yeah, are ways or one of the ways for us to become invisible. Right. And it's a beautiful, uh, I say, yeah, information, learning again from that. Yeah. Why? Because this is what I realize. Once we become vibration, yeah, the physical dissipates. We are there, we are present, but we become like invisible, actually. Yeah. People can pass through us. <laughs> People can just well, step on us, but you know, they, they won't realize, they won't know that we are actually there. Yeah. Invisibility. Yeah. So, because when you are filled with the vibration of the mantra, yeah, the body becomes like so electrified. Yeah. It's like you are an entity, you are an image, but you are not solid. Yeah. There's no physical matter, but you are forming that image, that shape, that personality. And that's why I realized, because during that experience, the room, my brain, yeah, everything was filled with a vibration. Yeah, I was vibrating, but I wasn't a physical entity. It's like an image, it's like a shadow. Yeah, people can pass through you without them knowing you're there. Right? And the highest form of vibration, the highest form of uh, sound is actually produced while we are chanting those mantras. Right? And uh, the sound is the Om. Yeah. So the many mantras we chant, we practice, they emit one particular vibration, sound. Yeah, it's the sound of the OM. The OM is like the product, the byproduct of the mantras. Yeah. He actually shared with me like six, actually six ways to become invisible. And well, I was given yeah, three. Yeah. I look forward to be given the gift again. But, well, uh, my principle is what happens, happen. Yeah, if it happens, then thank you. If not, then I'm very grateful for the gift already. Yes. All right. Chanting yeah, produces a vibration. The vibration it produces the Om. Mudra, Gyan Mudra, keeps us attached you know, to our bodies. So while we're experiencing the realms there, yeah, we remain grounded so we can come back and share the experience. Yeah. And invisibility. Yes. Yeah. The body is just like I'd say the the product of the many energetic forces, yeah, yeah, accumulating. But this is made up of vibration, the energy. And after this, you know, we dissolve, we dissipate again. But yeah, what remains is the consciousness. Yeah, and it's there ever present all along. Thank you for listening and I wish you all a lovely day. Namaste.